And we're back. Oh, look at that, light seekers. God, oh my, I'm so dark. My light needs to be like turned. I'm, hold on one sec. Let me see if I can get more light on my face now that I'm this small. I just look so pale. The screen isn't bright anymore because I don't have the white screen. One sec. much better that's much better that's much better uh the rest of the rest of europe i mean yeah uh fresh in... oh i feel really bad for this denmark yes i wanted to say sweden but i was like that's not right there's someone else that's in sweden fresh in denmark um but yeah i mean there's a lot of people in europe that don't necessarily live in the uk that play the game stream the game do it really well um, and their local game store is almost non-existent because not enough people play in their area, and it's it's nothing to do with their fault. It's the fact that the game is at that state where it's it's not really in a growth area. So, Rocket Star, will I talk about the new card since my last stream? You got me there, man. I will. I definitely will. Let's jump over here. Oh man, thank you for catching me. We have so many new cards to talk about, guys. Where, oh, where can those cards be? Here we go. Now, we are on to the tech ones, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, on to the tech ones. Look out, you've got Zelina right behind you. Oh, no! If I remove her buffs, she, if she removes my buffs, she'll draw a card. All right, let's start off with Colax the Historian. Now, Colax is... Probably one of the very few, if not only, explosive... Am I, is my forehead going away if I lean in too close? It is. Um, yeah, first of all, I love the art. Also, he's probably one of the only now uh, heroes with uh, explosive supremacy. But I want to say like 80% of the tech heroes right now are time supremacy since uh, Zuna got hers taken away. It is the only blue tire, actually. You're right, Freshen. Right. He's, he's reading. It's funny, though, like the, the person who should be like a time person is explosive mastery, right? He's got a book. All that fun stuff with a quill. But his ability... His ability is discard the top card of your deck. If, uh, if the card discarded as a combo, deal 5 damage to your target. Otherwise, deal 2 damage to your target. This cannot be increased by effects. I think this hero is really cool. Um, it is, once again, dabbling in the new discard mechanic that they're trying to spread love through almost everywhere, is what I'm understanding. So having a hero that can discard the top card of your deck could be good. Could be bad. Um, you, the fact that, like, you're discarding combos, obviously, with Explosive Supremacy, a lot of people are like, hey, you know, um, I want to, I want to run aggro, right? I have crazy, I have things like Crazy Bombers, I have things like, uh, Tyrax Mercenary, uh, the, oh, the Bruiser, the, is it Tyrax Bruiser? I, I want to say Tyrax Bruiser, but it's like, you have all the really high damaging stuff. So, the whole discarding the top card of your deck means that if you play a deck with him and you're building that way, maybe you don't build it for the ability. Um, which is fine because you just want it for supremacy. But then again, if you try to build the deck with his ability, it could be something different entirely. It could be more of a, a buff-based deck. Um, that the, the combos really aren't... Scrapworks Bruiser. Thank you, Montero. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's the embers. We won't know until we see all the cards. Exactly. Exactly. Which is simply why I'm trying to describe like how I would play it. I'm not going to say it's a good or bad card until I know everything there is to with the set. And now that we have up to 202 cards, there's a lot to look at now. Um... But this, this, to me, just screams like you can either use his ability and build more of a buff-based deck, and the combos really aren't aren't things like um, Overwhelming Blast or all the stuff like that that's just direct damage, because why would you discard that for 5 when you could potentially play it for 11 to 14? Um, so this, this to me, uh, kind of tells me that the buffs that I want to play if I'm using it for the ability are, or not the buffs, the combos are going to be more buffs or like more defense, and if I get... If I get them discarded, I can deal damage. But if I play them, I don't really play them for damage. I play them for utility or defending-wise or something else like that. So, kind of having a hero with the explosive supremacy makes me want to think this this guy can be a lot more versatile than uh, people might give him first credit for. Because, um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of explosive heroes out there that are supremacy and explosive. But then again, those heroes simply just run the turret to become explosive supremacy in late game. So, with that also being said... Um, I hope this card is good. Uh, like I said, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm in love with the new discard mechanic they're adding in. I think it's really fun that we're getting stuff like that. There already is cards out there in tech that utilize the discard mechanic. So having a hero that can just discard the top card of your deck could be good. 
you could also run um, cards in here. You could splash Astralin and get it so that, like, you just run it in for Starhorn Tuskers. And you just plop a Starhorn Tusker in it. It's the same damage as it is playing it. But if you luckily get it on the top of your deck, put it into the top of your discard pile, cool. All your buffs and stuff start dealing damage. And you can just go ham on them like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's there's definitely going to be some unique ways to play him. Some fun ways. Uh, but just because of his ability is to make you discard your combos to deal 5 makes me think that the, the way the devs thought of playing him is you don't really run... Uh, the high damaging combos, because why would you discard a high damaging combo to deal less damage for one action when you could just play that combo to deal almost twice as much, if not more? So, I, I like him. I like him. Uh, explosive uh, Supremacy means that he does not always go into aggro, but can go into aggro if you wanted to. So, he could be fun. He could be fun. Also, if like you're being blocked by an attack, he can still just discard for nothing, not even attack or defend, and still deal two or five. So, I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, next one we have is the Creeble Reconstructor. We have a Creeble mechanical card that says burn two damage if your last discarded card is a robot buff, move it into play. This card immediately makes me think of Geode Hashling. Um, Geode Hashling was a little more busted because it could move any action buff into play. Um, it did only deal one damage, but on cards like this, the, the damage is almost negligible. We don't really care about the damage, we care about what the card actually says. Uh, this is going to be an awesome card for the robot family. Um, because what, uh, I, I don't know if the interaction is going to work this way. I, just in my mind, you can correct me if I'm wrong, me, people from Play Future are still here, and like, no, that's not actually how that works. What I'm thinking in my mind is Kreebot, right? If Kreebot, uh, it's a robot, it's a robot card. So with this card reading, uh, Kreebot Reconstructor 2 damage, if your last discarded card is a robot, so the robot will then come into play, and then the Kreebot card will, like, be the act of being, uh, no, because it says if you play a Kreebot card, it rotates, isn't it? So yeah, it won't act that way. I was going to say, it would just rotate one corner because you played a Kreeble card. But I don't think that's ex any way, shape, or form of how that, how that acts. But uh, with the robot buffs that we're seeing, being able to get them back from the discard pile is going to be really nice. Right? It's going to be awesome. Especially with cards like Bot Launcher that just removes a, ro removes a robot buff from play to deal rotation amount of damage. Like, activate that ability to remove a robot buff, then Kreeble reconstruct it two damage to bring that robot buff back into, back, back into play on its first corner. Like, that's going to be some really fun plays to do. So I do think this is going to be uh, a really, really good card to have if making a robot deck. Uh, outside of that, it's you know it's two damage. Why run a two damage Kreeble attack card? I don't know. Uh, it's it's only going to fit in with robot families. But I do think that if if robots like if people make robots, this is a card you're going to want. Um, just because of how potent Graveyard Recursion is, and if you can time it to make it so that like. You can discard one of your robot buffs that's about to deal damage to you and then bring it right back into play on its first corner where it does something. You're going to have some fun plays with this. I, I like this card a lot. I think it's going to be really fun to use. Uh, then we have the Kreeble Racer, an explosive Kreeble buff that reads, Increase damage done to other heroes by one. Awesome. We're getting just, like, a damage increase for tech. I mean, there's been a lot of stuff like that. I think Alchemy Lab was something along the lines of this. It was X11 and increased your power by one, which is now attack and damage and, or attack and healing um, and no longer like card draw or any just numerical value on a card, so like nerf power but for a good reason. Uh, where this is just increase the damage done to other heroes by 1-1-1 one, one, one for 3 turns. Rotate this one step backwards when you play an explosive card. Now this once again, we have a hero with supremacy and explosives. This is probably going to go right in an aggro deck or maybe even just like a really fun explosive buff deck. Because um, when it expires, you take 2 damage and you remove the buff to its right. So, like, you can even time this, because tech is really fun at this. You can time it so that the buff you lay to the right wants to be removed before it does anything bad to you, right? Like, there's, uh, there's, I think it's a robot buff, uh, where it's a clunky corner to three. I, I cannot think of the name. But you activate its ability, you draw three cards, and then for the next two turns, you have damage prevention on two. And then the last one is, uh, it deals five damage to you, right? So if you, if you set that up properly with this card, you can draw three cards... And then when this expires, it deals 2 damage to you, which that other buff next to it will prevent the 2 damage. And then you remove the buff to the right of this, which will have then... Uh, Unstable Defender, I think you're right, Chimes. I think you're right. Uh, which will then not deal 5 damage to you. So there's like some pretty nice uh, interactions with some of these cards. Um, he races back and forth on the board. That is exactly true. Uh, Unstable Scavenger? That That's... Yeah, yeah. Unstable Scavenger. Like, that's just one interaction off the top of my head from the, from the robot cards that I've played. And that's from Kindred. That's none of the, it's none of the robots even from Uprising. 
Um, so, I, Creeble Racer is going to find its own place, even if it's just an aggro, to make your damage increase by one, and then you just lay a bunch of explosive attack cards and rotate it backwards and have it stay on the board. Um, when it rotates out, two damage in a certain aggro deck might be good, because tech also likes being below 15 to get a lot of effects. So, like, I, I don't really see a whole lot of downside to this card. Um, there, it, it, it's got a lot on its card, and usually cards with a lot of text means there's many different ways to play it, which is what I really love to see from this set, is that a lot of cards are becoming more versatile in what they can do and how you can play them, so that it's not just, like, this card is better than this card because it deals more damage, such and such. It's Each card has its unique way of being played in several different variants, so there's, not, there's never going to be one card that is ultimately better than the rest because of what it does. Each card is now finding its sp specific spot, which is awesome to see. Um, Magnetic Smash is the new combo buff that we have for tech. Uh, it is two mechanical. It reads, deal three damage to your target for the next three turns, obviously. And then if your enemy has less than health than you, you heal for two. This one, um, I mean, it's kind of like, kind of like Steel Fortification. I want to say Steel Fortification was 3-3-4. Three, three, and it made it so your other mechanical buffs could not be removed, which is a lot more potent than just healing for two. Um... This also does, it's not even damage prevention, it's just damage. So, if you look at this, and you're in a really bad way, um, yeah, I, is that like a Triceratops? That's awesome. That is awesome. Steel Fort is 433. Thank you, Rain Thor. Um, yeah, I, I love the art. I think it's really cool. Um, thinking about this as a, a mechanical damaging buff, maybe it'll see play. Um, it, it potentially, like, it, you would have to be low for you to get the full 5.5.5-point swing. Um, but if you're consistently dealing damage, you, uh, by the third corner, you're probably not healing for that, too. You know what I mean? Also, unless we find cards that interact really well, like uh, like Nature did, where if you heal for some minuscule amount or some small amount, stuff triggers. Um, maybe we'll see something like that happen. Uh, I know the Chef Ribrox has an ability where if you lay a card that gives you instantaneous healing, you get to rotate one of your buffs forward one. So maybe it could be a fun synergistic play to lay this with Magnetic Smash, deal 3 damage, heal for 2, then rotate one of your buffs like a Colossi Cannon to rotate it to its 11th corner, something like that. Um, there, there's a lot of fun things we can do. Um, uh, it's It does feel a little underwhelming. Um, I will I will say that with Magnetic Crush. But with with a, if you play in a heavy tech, not tech, heavy mechanical deck, um, mechanical is usually its defense, it's usually damage prevention, it's healing and stuff like that. So having us have a mechanical buff that deals damage is is a nice kind of uh, left field thing that if we don't need the healing necessarily right now, this is just 9 damage on a card that we would have ditched for several healing, right? Because if we're playing like an aggro deck and we're not taking damage or we're in a late game and we just need something to deal more damage, Tyrex fixtures aren't going to deal damage. This, two Tyrex fixtures toss this out to deal potentially 9 damage. That could do it. Uh, I don't know why you'd lay this over an overwhelming blast. It's kind of concerns like that. But it could just be something that fits really nice into your deck. We'll have to see if there's... Maybe there's a buff out there that's uh, three mechanical. And running this just to pay for that combo easier is going to be good too. Um, aren't Tyrex dinosaurs? Uh, I don't know the lore on Tyrex all that well. I know they are lizard engineers. Um, if they're dinosaurs as well, that's awesome. That's awesome. I will admit I'm not the, the lore expert that Testament is. So he's probably a better person to ask or just read the lore on uh, Tyrex's. But if they are dinosaurs, kudos to them, because I am a fan of dinosaurs. But, um, yeah, that's that's my thought on Magnetic Smash. Um, it being more of a left-field combo for mechanical that deals damage as opposed to where all the mechanicals are defense or healing. It could find a nice spot. Um, if you're playing more, like, uh, if you're an aggro, but you're playing a more controly late-game deck, um, and you just need something to deal damage, and you've blown through all your explosive cards, plopping down two healing cards that you might necessarily not need right there in the game, just to push through nine damage over the course of three turns... Could be good. Could be good. Um, that's it for the, uh, the Tech Tuesday cards. Now, today's was Testaments. Today's was Testaments. I, I, I do feel really bad for the dude. I really wish he would have, would have been able to get these cards sooner to then uh, make an amazing YouTube video. He said he had ideas of what he wanted to do with skits. He just needed to know what the card said so we could actually fill out the skits, like a Mad Lib type of thing. I, I'm totally underselling his artistic creativeness, but uh, I, do, I do really hope that he also gets a second shot at making a proper YouTube video for reveals because it, it's it's a waste to have Testament's creativity and his YouTube skills go to waste just to have him post them on Facebook being like, dude, check out these Dread cards when we know for a fact that all of his YouTube videos get like 
over 100 views like the first day he puts them out this one would have skyrocketed him um so it's it's kind of a shame that they were unable to uh communicate well with him on getting him these cards like a week in advance so he could actually do a proper review um with his skill set i do think that's really sad uh, but we, what we got here is Shadow Re or Shady Recruiter, which is an Umbron Shadow card. Awesome for Umbrons. But it says, move up to two Creeble cards for your deck to your hand. That's insane value. That is so nuts. Um, we've already been seeing some amazing Dread Creeble cards as well. Uh, I know for a fact the first Dread card we ever got literally needed three Creeble cards under it to activate it. It's the, poison, the Poisonous Mistress or whatever it is. The consistent uh, two, dam two tick damage with the Creeble cards under it. Having anything tutor is gonna be amazing no matter what it is um having this card literally search for two of them is beyond nuts like let's just look at this the uh um if it said one it'd still be playable exactly exactly there's the one nature card um that literally searches for one beast and does like two healing that card is run so much in beasts because you want to search for a specific beast this lets you search for two specific cards a lot of the times, Kreeble, like, they're going to be really potent now in this new set. So being able to just play one card to look for two specific ones, this, this card is going to be so good. And because of it, I almost want to say that it could lead into a, a different dynamic for Dread that we're seeing outside of the Tentacles, right? Because I really hope Tentacles just, the their, their power starts getting underwhelming and isn't worth it. Uh, and cards like this, uh, I, I really hope are, like are going to help make it so tentacles are not always run, but at the same time, their power level is not so nuts that it's one of those, like, well, why would you run anything else in Dread when you can search for two cards, right? Like, I do hope that it opens up a variety for Dread, um, and that goes back to my whole statement that I said several days ago about certain cards that are holding sets back because they're not allowing for advancement, like Craze Bomber and Tentacles. Those are the big two ones that I know of that literally because of those two cards, the set, the alignment as a whole is having a difficult time moving forward and creating new venues for uh, deck archetypes. Uh, the Shady Recruiter like immediately goes, wow, I need three of those right away. And the fact that they're common defend cards is amazing. Is amazing. Um, Fresh and Crystal Core. I mean, Crystal Core isn't one that really uh, prevents a an alignment from going forward because Crystal Core is an item, um, which can be put in any deck. Uh, I think Crystal Core is definitely helpful against like OTKs. Uh, and some aggros. Um, I know right now they put in... They they even put in a card to specifically like make so that you don't run into Crystal Core as much if you side it into a sideboard. Uh, you can side it into your main deck if you run into a lot of Crystal Cores. Like they, They've eventually come up with these tech cards to help deal with stuff like that. But I don't think Crystal Core... Is, is an issue compared to some of the other ones. I know a lot of people hate that card because it is like oh, you prevented them from dying. But when you also look at, like, well, would you rather have Crystal Core or would you really have rather have Ritual of Awakening? You're going to go, I'd have Crystal Core in Day of the Week, right? Because that card can be removed. That card can be sent back to the deck. Um, like, it's it's just those types of things. Um, that it's really just, like, Crystal Core is, is a nuisance uh, for a lot of people that do play aggro and stuff like that. But at the same time, they've given us pretty sufficient answers um, to it that we're not that salty about it as, as much as we were. But it is still one of those items that's going to be like, that is still so hurtful. Uh, I don't, yeah. If it was one of those where you can only include one in a deck, it would not be that bad. If it was one of those where if it was destroyed, it was like, um, maybe even sent to the bottom of the deck. Or if it was sent to your discard pile, like it was just cracked and was discarded and you'd have to somehow get it back in your discard pile. Something like that. Um, but I'm, I'm not as salty about that card as much as I am with like a lot of other cards that I've said before. Anyway, back to Shady Recruiter. Uh, I think this card is amazing. This card is, like, without even seeing the full set, this card is going to see play. This card is going to see some amazing play and it's going to do really well. Uh, any card that tutors is going to be a card that's played. Hands down. Uh, Skeletal Ward. We have a new combo buff for Dread. First of all, it's a buff, so that's awesome. As the center's play, you heal for six. Alright, cool. It's, you know, it's a defend that heals you for six. Dread doesn't have a lot of burst healing uh, outside of Devourer, the combo that heals you for eight. So having something that heals you for six instantaneously, awesome. But then you cancel the next combo attack against you. And I like that. I like that. That is very specific enough to really not even be a threat. Like you get instantaneous effect, right? You get the six healing, you get 
over 50% of what the thing is. But it's one of those like, hey man, if you were going to kill me with a combo attack, you got to remove this buff before you do it, or you just can't do that combo attack. So a lot of the time, this is a very late game card. Anyway, um, unless you're being pressured down by aggro, in which case the aggro action cards are usually going to kill you regardless. But you just you just cancel the next combo attack. It can be a combo defend that gets through a combo buff, still gets through it has to be a combo attack card. Um, which we are seeing a lot more lately, um, but mostly in Dread. Can't believe Magrock is getting that combo. I just still can't believe it. But I, I like this card. It's it's very specific enough to not be that much of a nuisance. Um, and it is only 6 healing. It's not like 12 healing. Um, but there's cards to... I mean, yeah, there's there's plenty of cards to handle Crystal Core. Exactly, is the embers. But yeah, Skeletal Ward, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's, it's only a 2 cost one, which shouldn't be extremely powerful. It's just nice 6 healing. Uh, can really be situational if, like you said, you're losing to a lot of OTK decks that are running with combo attack cards. And you're like, hey, I'm, I'm about to die. Slam the Skeletal Ward down. The combo attack gets null and void if you want to use a combo attack. It either gets negated or um, you have to remove the buff, right? I think it's a really good one. Um, really situational, which means it's it fits really nice in the two slot. It's not just like cancel your next attack. It's cancel your next combo attack. So you can still action them down. You can still do that. It's perfectly fine. I like it a lot. And then probably the best one of the night is the Eternal Hunter. First of all, who's a good boy? Who's he? He's a good boy. Yes, he is. He's a, he's an undead defend card that you may search your deck for an Umbron card. We have Creeble searches. Now we have Umbron searches. But there's more. Draw it face up. If it's dread, you may play it without consuming an action. Now, I think I saw this immediately when it was posted. Guys, did you know you can Eternal Hunter for Shady Recruiter? And then lay Shady Recruiter for free and get two Creeble cards. With Eternal Hunter, Eternal Hunter just reads get two Creeble cards. Or just get an Umbron card. Like, it, it's... Eternal Hunter is really good. Once again, a tutor card. It just says one, but that card is going to be run. If you're playing Umbron decks. And a lot of stuff, uh, I think Testament said on his Facebook page. Man, I'm looking for an Umbron Salvager. Anyone have any idea where the Umbron Salvager is? Oh, wait a second. I have a dog that can go find it for me. Like, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, they're, they're, Umbrons right now are everywhere. Umbron Barkeep, Umbron Salvager, Umbron Informant. Um, that the Umbron ones are stuff that you need in certain situations. Um, a lot of them, I'll admit, the, the better ones are the unaligned ones, and we are now starting to get some insane dread ones. Eh? To be able to use Eternal Hunter with. Uh, that I think it's going to be a really good card. Eternal Hunter is going to be a nice card that, that is like, it's going to make the Umbron family a lot more potent in Dread now. As opposed to the ones like, draw the top three cards. Any Umbrons, you heal for one, the rest put in the back. And it's like, I hope I have a stacked Umbron deck to utilize this card. Now it's just one Eternal Hunter. It's just, I'm just going to look for an Umbron card. Like, I'm going to look for, it, it even goes in an undead deck. It looks for the Umbron that lets you put an undead card uh, from your hand into play. An undead, an undead buff. That one was run a lot in an undead deck. Guys, guess what? This is an undead card. This is an undead card. Like, it it fits with two families that work really well in Dread. So I think this is going to be a really strong card. Um, that is going to, like, not only help Undead, but... And also help Umbron tremendously. But just because of the Umbron cards that we're running now are all our card draw. Or all of our, like, heavy-hitting damage with Salvager. The Umbrons have been tech or utility cards. That being able to search for one of those is really strong. Like, ridiculously strong. So, I am super excited for Eternal Hunter. I am super excited for Eternal Hunter. That's going to be a great card. Alright guys, that is all of the ones that we have since I went live on Monday. I hope my opinion was valid. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we're back to this much more darker screen. Wow, is my lighting really that bad? Like, I thought it was, I thought it was better. But I'm just like, I, I feel like I'm not being lit sufficiently enough. Maybe it's just, oh my word, my screen is also just... Blah, 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 down here. Well, I have to go up to get up in less than six hours. Have a great discussion. Fresh and thank you too, man. Thanks for sticking around. I hope you have a good night. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and try and fix my screen for just a minute, one sec, guys. That did not work. Ah, oh, let me. That, that's that's gonna look really bad. I gotta. Let me see if I can fix this. Not too long. I'll give it like a minute or so.
Is it me? Is it me? Is it like... I think it's me. I think I'm destroying my, my thing. And you wanna know why? This shirt, this shirt has some green on it. I'm not allowed to wear this shirt when I'm streaming anymore because this throws my green screen off. It's me. I'm the one destroying my own set. My shirt, it's, it looks like it's blue and black. No, it's blue and lime green. It's blue and green. Let me, let me turn this off and I'll show you guys how I'm destroying this. Like, let me just... See my shirt? See all the green in it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I am destroying my own green screen with this shirt. Mind you, I will never wear this shirt on stream again now. Good to know. Good to keep that in mind. That this, this whole discussion probably looks like garbage because I've been like this the entire time. <laughs> well, hopefully you didn't come to look at me. You came to listen to me. That's that's the number one thing I'm here to help promote. But, um, yeah, with that being said, oh my, right? So, um, yeah, guys, let's let's jump into this. We have, oh, we have Captain Blantail, too. We have the excellent campaign. Seems pretty excellent to me, if I do say so myself. Phil, have a good one. Have a good one. Hope to see you. Hope to see you back for Lurker stream tonight. Let's jump into this. I just want to catch up on chat real quick. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I am in the worst place for you to read this. So I'm going to read it to you. Okay, I'm going to read this to you, and hopefully I don't mess it up so bad that you're like, that's not exactly what it says. I can see behind his head. Stop for chocolate. Lather the rascal stops for no one. See if you can take her down before she stops for chocolate and recovers. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, so it is one of our own decks. Um, what do we want to run? I have no idea what this involves. So, so, I think the best option that we're ever going to go with is the Umbron Peddler. We're, we're peddling our way to victory once again, guys. We're doing it. Uh, no, is the Embers. All of the, uh, all of the hero challenges are all completely random. By the way, I did buy the mat. I did buy the mat. That's what, that's what I saw this morning, is the, the mat was for sale, and I was like, I gotta buy that! So I bought it. So I have the mat. Well, this is... Okay, so, so what is Lay of the Rascal? Okay, so that's that's the true ability. That's what her ability is. Stop for chocolate. Unique, stubborn, corner four. Oh, wait. Let me just do this, because stubborn is a new keyword. Um, stubborn. Stubborn is not here. Stubborn is not here. Uh, for you guys that don't know, for you guys that don't know, where is where is the Lightseekers? They were, it was posted in the news. Um... I gotta get, I gotta bring this up. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's not here. I I do hope, I do hope this keyword is added in. Um, all right, here we are. Here we are. Right here is where it is. Uh, it reads: This event includes new keyword stubborn. This simply means the card cannot be removed, returned, or made dormant. Now this this is amazing. This is amazing. I uh, for those of you um, that aren't aware, uh, I I did kind of be like, man, maybe people are listening to me because a while back when I started talking about these cards and like what needed to change and stuff like that. For all I know, they had it well before, and I just said it, and now I'm taking credit, and I really shouldn't be, but I said it. That's all I'm saying, is that on cards like um, the Font of Misfortune and the Draga Hoarder they didn't really impact the game as much as they wanted them to because they were so easily removed for the tech situations that you wanted to remove them in. Um, so I was like, man, maybe if they gave it away like where you couldn't remove it, uh, the only it stuck on the board and had like a very strict stipulation of how it affected the game in such a way that it was only in certain circumstances. Just give it something where it just couldn't be removed, uh, couldn't be like restarted um, or returned. Like give it, give it something like that where once you laid it down, you only laid it down in cert against certain decks, otherwise it didn't matter, right? Like, having your graveyard have all burn really doesn't affect a whole lot of decks outside of Dread. Um, having it so you can't be discarded in your hand, not a whole lot of decks make you, make you discard cards. 
Like, they're very strict stipulations. I thought those two deserved a keyword that could do something like that, right? That you couldn't make, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't, uh, remove it or return it. Like, once you slammed it onto the board, your opponent either had to deal with it, um, by, like, discarding or whatever, or they could speed it up with tech cards of their own. There was some issue with it. And now we got Stubborn. And I'm happy with Stubborn. Uh, Stubborn, now the fact that it says, um, cannot be removed, returned, or made dormant, I kind of wish it also said could not be restarted. I think that would have been a good one to have as well. Um, because I could see cards like this being abused in nature, um, where you can just restart the crud of all these cards. Um, like, you can spin it forward. That's fine, too. That's a fine tech way to get rid of it with, like, uh, Chrono, the, not Chrono Warper, um, the one defend that spins a, t and spins a buff to the last corner. I cannot think, maybe it is Chrono Warper and I'm just lying. Uh, with uh, Fountain of Time, stuff like that, but like it can't be restarted. Um, you can somehow rotate it backwards, but it just chrono over. I was right, cool. Thank you, Turtle. But yeah, I, I would just like it so like it can't be restarted. Something else on that for stubborn, um, just to make it so like these cards, once they're being used, um, yeah, like Flame Chain Water, you can spin it forward, but you just can't restart it. You can spin it forward or spin it backwards, but you can't just restart it. I think that that would be a really cool uh, keyword for stubborn because it also makes sense. It's like no, 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 I'm here for what I do. I'm here no longer. Bye. And just leaves. He's just like, he's so stubborn. I, just, I wanted to invite him to my sleepover. And he said no. And I was like, why? And he just wanted him to do his thing. And he left. And then just, I, I don't know. Now I'm making stuff up. But stubborn is a new keyword. So unique and stubborn. I really hope this gets translated even to uh, some of the 72 cards that we now got. That's a keyword they were able to add into the actual physical game. And we just haven't seen any of the card reveals for it. I do hope this comes in. Um... Whether it's just, like, maybe even on a later set, they're going to actually introduce Stubborn to see how well it works in this set. But I don't think it belongs on every card. It belongs in a tech. A tech card situation. Not the tech alignment, but in tech cards like Font of Misfortune or Draga Hoarder, where they're very strict on how they help the game or how they impact the game, to where, like, they literally don't do anything unless there's a way to keep them on the board. I think that's where Stubborn belongs. Um, and I think it could be utilized in a really good way to stop and prevent a lot of these decks that are, like... 80% win rates, right? You just plop that card in there and it prevents them from winning and then that that deck doesn't become powerful anymore and the whole meta changes continuously. I think it's a, I think it'd be very advantageous. So, curious to know what heroes you guys used for the, this campaign. I mean, I'm using my Umbron Peddler for starters because I, I love this deck. I love it so much. Uh, I played all three with True Stone. Nice! Nice! Howlock, Mud Turtle, I am not surprised. <laughs> not surprised. All right, but anyway, we have Unique and we have Stubborn. Uh, corner four, when the hero plays a card, heal yourself for, uh, looks like two. At the start of your turn, restart this buff. Okay. Okay, so... Basically, when it gets to corner four, I just don't play anything. Is how I get around that. That seems fine. And then we have an Electrified Moat. Okay. Okay. Um... So it looks like this deck can be good for blowing him out before he gets additional actions when he's below 10, because I can just hammer him down with 18. Uh, I won't really be doing a whole lot on every turn, so maybe I picked the right deck. We got our Scholar. It's a defend card, so it's not even an attack either. Shield Wall. Ooh, okay. Zabberbug. Okay, this can be difficult. Let's see what we got here. First, it's a defend, so it's not going to trigger any of these. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I need that. I need that one. I can't just ditch my damage. Yeah, I'll draw. I'll draw. This is this is bad. This looks like it's a very attack heavy base. A cloud harvester. What kind of lightning cards is it back? Is it like any lightning cards? Also, can we all appreciate this is an amazing card back? Like I wanna just look at this card back, but I can't until the card flips. Or until I beat the campaign. But that's awesome. That is a Dust Town assassin coming to kill some eggs or like protect them or whatever he's doing, but that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Uh I don't want to do anything. So I'll just draw two. Next turn I won't do anything either, because he's got that. Kind of stinks because I now have an item and a buff that I or a combo that I want. But he doesn't have any lightning cards. Well, now I really don't want to do anything. Now I really just don't want to do anything. Because he'll heal for two. I'll have to discard cards. I'm just giving this thing an old bottom right. Let that rotate back. His combo will rotate out. He doesn't get anything back from Cloud Harvester. That was a good turn. That was a good turn. He's probably going to eat them. 
It's a he's a he's a chimchu. Why would he eat him? That doesn't make sense. That's blasphemy. Uh, and then I'll just pass because I kind of want to keep impatient scholar for laying enlightenment. Because if I lay enlightenment with like a scholar and an infiltrator, it'll get a combo in the discard pile. It'll draw me cards and whatnot. It's just all around better. And it's a defense, so it doesn't trigger any of this stuff. Let's go. This playman is legendary. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool. Yes! We got a blacksmith. So I can look for my tome. Start drawing faster. It's great. And I got Eclipse. Oh, I also picked up Planetary Alignment as well. That's pretty sweet. Another mode. Oh, if he lays cards. What? Oh, when any hero lays a card. Never mind. I thought this rotated back, though. How is it still on corner four? Was it not on corner four last turn? Guys, did I miss something? It will rotate back. Okay. Like, I, I thought it was. Or does it not, like, rotate back until someone lays a card? Like, is that part of the trigger? Is that this, the second sentence doesn't go off until someone lays a card? Start of the turn. I thought that was the start of the turn, though. Like, I, I maybe, okay, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just totally lying to myself. But now do I want to lay cards? Because he's going to heal for two. Man. I'm in a, I'm in a tricky pickle. I mean, I, I don't care if he's at full health. I can deal a bunch of damage to him, right? Or maybe I just wait and just have some good turns later. So I can get some buff removal going. Without him healing. Yeah, we're good. We got Mari Bard. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, he'll just draw two and we'll have a really good turn next turn. Let's do it. Let's do it. Slam this down. Uh, we'll get our tome, because I like the tome. It's a good tome. It's our friend. Um, the next one is obviously going to lay Moonlight Burrower. Um, probably that one again. Seems like a really strong one to have. Still have two actions, because that's how I do. Uh, Mari Bard. And now we're going to probably Pathfinder. Ooh. I want to say... Actually, I don't... That one. I want to say that one. Now that I have a Tome, dealing or getting hurt doesn't feel too bad. Uh, I just don't want damage prevention at all. It doesn't fully restart. It goes to a second corner. Yeah, it is at the start of turn. It restarts, and then the buff phase would go. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. See that stubborn coming into play there? I do. I do. But you know what I also see coming into play? This Eclipse. I see that coming into play real handy right now. Get out of here, Spark Wisp. I don't need you. Yeah, see? Make it not dormant. This would be awesome. Just saying, this, this keyword needs to grow. It needs to grow. So next turn, it should rotate, right? It should restart next turn. Shouldn't have to worry about anything. Um, This is when I play a card, right? Yeah, so I can still... I can still draw with Tome for no particular reason. And he doesn't have an item, right? Yeah, he doesn't have an item. Okay, we're good. We're good. Spark Whisper, you're dead. Not if it's not in his hand, Shibes. Not if it's not in his hand. Showed him what's what. Okay, so I can't play Title Shift. Okay. But you know what I can do? I can discard Title Shift and then Pathfinder 2 buffs. Because that's what this deck loves to do. That's what this deck loves to do. And this is just... You can move two discarded action cards back. I think... Me doing this... Is okay. To discard that... Because it's okay. To then me pathfindering... That one... And that one. Yeah, pathfindering Rolling Thunder feels really good right about now. Now I'm at 16, but I can micro heal my way back up, so I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, I can also look for my dripping dagger. A lot of my hand looks like it's just gonna blow him out real quick here, real quick like. 
Um, I might want to heal up because I have no idea what he can do, and I don't think taking a lot of damage is going to be helpful. Uh, next turn, I really want to, won't want to do anything either because he'll just heal for two every time I do something. Oh, I have another action. Maybe I do just hit him for eight. I wouldn't be able to follow up next turn. I do it on a 14. No, I, th I think I can wait. I think I can wait. I don't know what he plans on doing, but I just don't want him to heal. That's all I... There's a bubble fish. That's a bit of a nuisance. I can't really deal damage to him. I guess I'm just going to have to draw and heal for one. Hope for a Pathfinder here soon. Really? Really? Okay, well, I'm just going to pass again. There's an Impatient Scholar. It's a Defend card. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. He's going to get Spark Wisp back. Oop, oop. I somehow clicked in between the cards. That's such small. Damage. Okay, that's really good. And I can do that right now without triggering anything. Hopefully pull a Pathfinder. No, but that's just as good. That is just as good. Uh, but what I can do is I can Chimcher Infiltrator. I'll take three, deal nothing, but I can grab that Pathfinder back. Which is, at the end of the day, all I really want. It's gonna feel weird. I can just discard Planetary Alignment to then remove buffs. Okay. Am I just dead? Could I just be dead? Because he's going to get probably Crackling Beast. Yeah, he's definitely going to get Crackling Beast back. Oh, Lord. I think I just have to... I mean, I can heal. I'll take what? Two. I'll take eight damage next turn. Plus whatever's in his hand. Shibes, have a good one, man. Thanks for, thanks for being here. I th think just healing for four is good. I don't think the top one was lunar. I think it was. I think it was gravity. Cross my fingers. No, it was solar. Awesome. Well, I wish I had blinding beetle right now for a second. Actually, I think that would have been great. I really do. I'm gonna take two. He's gonna get that beast back, and another moat. Of course, why not? Right. Ah. This is a good play. Guess I'm at seven. A raging river. All right. Well, I guess that makes sense. Well, well, well. What do we have here? I can just heal and draw. I need to. I need to get myself back up. I'm in a. I'm in a bad way. Woo! Oh, okay. Twilight Oracle again. Could be good. It's yeah. It, Wait, what? It just cancels it? Wait. Wait, why did that not draw me a card? Hold on. Hold, hold on. Guys? Did you see that? Thank you, Dells. <laughs> Yeah, I can only draw one card a turn. Do you guys know that? I didn't know that. That's a bummer. Um. Wow. Wow, that was a horrible mistake on my part. So. So. Oh, man, I feel dumb now. Did you? No, because. Uh, no, actually, I don't think I did. I don't even think I healed for two.
Unless I did and I just didn't see it because he healed for two and that was what I was more focused on. I don't know. Someone go back and clip it. See if I healed for two. Well, with that being said, I think the old reliable, uh, old reliable mud turtle howlock is what we're going to do. This feels good. Oh, that was interesting. That, the Raging River, that blew my mind. Did not even think about that. Oh, really? So it, it, it was all dependent? I thought it was you heal for two, then draw a card, and it heals you for another two if it's not Lunar. But it's if it heals you for, like, four? Interesting. Good to know. Good to know, Rackensar. Oh, reliable Howlock. Makes sense to me. No, not yet. I didn't see him use a single. Well, I didn't play any buffs. I was like, I didn't see him use a single Thunder Slug. But then again, my deck doesn't run any buffs, so why would it need to? There's a Thunder Slug. Look at that. Um. I think I would just double passing. Just double passing is fine. Well, there's a leech. Leech is good. Yeah, leech is good. Leech is just real good. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. I really want to draw a Geo Hatchling, though. I really do. I think this is a classic version, so I only have one Geo to Hatchling. So, like, this is not an optimal deck. But I drew it anyway. Guys, could you believe it? Oh, my word. 1 in 35, and I draw. I, I was destined to win this game. I really was. Destiny smiles on the just. Yeah, I'm going to take 6 damage. Yeah, I don't care. He's going to die. That's all I care about. Because I'm going to do this. I'll kill that one and that one. It'll be good. It'll be fine. Dandy. Everyone's okay. We have our Colossi Skybeam back. That's right. do its thing. So he one of these? I don't think he's that dumb, does he? I don't know. I'm not the AI. I didn't design this. Um. Man, it's going to take him a while, isn't it? If he's just constantly healing. Pass. Let's see what I get. String of Tantos isn't bad. I gotta start laying some cards, he's gonna remove them. Maybe I can slam that one down. And that one? We'll see. We'll wait for that Thunder Slug to come and rip us apart. I mean, the fire ones, I don't necessarily need. I'm not Supreme in fire. I can get them back with the Lava Tamer. So many things. So many things. Let's see what we have going here. Zapper Bug. All right. All right. Well, no Thunder Slug. That's good for us. So I can... Ritual Sight now. And if it sticks... I'm going to have an amazing turn. If it sticks, I'm going to have an amazing turn. Okay, okay, heal. He healed, that's fine. Next turn, I'm not really doing anything. Okay, okay. 
right, all right. I'm not doing anything. I don't want you to heal. Another leech. Really? Genius. He's gonna let this happen, huh? He's just gonna let it happen. Um, I mean, I gotta, I gotta go when I can, right? I gotta just, I gotta, I gotta go. I can't let him heal. Yeah. Those ones are all used up. I don't care if he removes them. Get your moat back. Get your crackling beast back. That's fine. I'm at 21. You're at 7. Uh, you get three actions because you are below 10. I did not did forget about that, I will admit. Crackling beast? Sure, sure. I'll take six. Um, yeah! Guys, how locked the founder? He founded this revolution we're in right now. Okay. He's the one who realized... How to take down Leilu. She got too many chocolates. We killed her for it. Just like that. Just like that. Brilliant. Brilliantly done. You can just see how my shirt is being see for me. It's insane. It is destroying my green screen. I'm really happy that a lot of this is all black now. <laughs> alright, alright, cool. Cool. Next one we have is the Everok Egg Cracker, which reads, The Egg Cracker is keen on two things, not taking a lot of damage and cracking eggs. Be careful, if the Egg Cracker takes more than three damage, it'll be inclined to crack lovely eggs. There are only so many eggs protecting it from you at the end. So this is telling me nice little chip damage, right? Nice little chip damage. It makes me kind of want to run insects. Makes me kind of want to run insects. Kinda? Only kinda. You beat it with tech aggro. Really? How many eggs do you get? How many eggs do you get? Jolty with core. I'll see what it does. Oh, you get three eggs. Oh, man. You didn't kill him by the time the three eggs? With slug and leech? Okay, well, let's see what the board state is. I'm playing... Oh, that does not look... What is... What? Okay, first of all, I love this buff because I've seen it before in that one puzzle and that was amazing. Because I just... I beat him with a Mantix Raider. It's like, you have how many buffs out on board? You have 35? Oh, you're dead. Uh, so, a lovely egg. It would be a shame if something were to happen to this. It really would. It really would. I, I feel like... I feel like there's a better egg art than this. Egg chamber, perhaps, actually is an egg, but it's just my. It's just I don't know. It's just me. All right, what does this guy do? He has a turret. He's stubborn, which means he oh, his ability can't be. Okay, okay. So he has stubborn, which means that Arkmos would not do anything to him. Okay, good. Uh, when you take three or more damage, move a cracked egg to your hand. Uh huh. Interesting. He drops a ton of buffs. Good to know. Well, let's see what happens here. I do have a reckless spirit, so there's that. All right, I got so many buffs, it's ridiculous. Okay, that's gonna immediately make this terrible for him. That's awesome. That's all I care about. I'm running Supply Carrier. What other cards am I running in this deck that I need Supply Carrier for? The Tome. That's what I'm running the Tome for. I'm just... I got a Tome. Um, and it's better to always have a Tome equipped than not have a Tome equipped. Because I love drawing. Drawing is really good. What is this? Well, that's getting reckless spirited. 
right away. Um, I think we'll draw a card first, though. We'll draw a card. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna take this. Take that away. Just get rid of it. Just kill it. We'll take four. That's fine. That's fine. For all intents and purposes, we really just killed that one. I don't know. I don't know. And an enchanted soil. A bit of a nuisance. A bit of a nuisance. But let's see here. We have consistent buffs. He's not really dealing any damage to us, which is good. Just good. He's got one card in his hand. Another hatchlings. That's really good. That's just a lot of ticking damage. That's a lot of ticking damage. Maybe the insects are the answers to this. Maybe the eggs it's about to steal are insect eggs. We just can't let it happen. We're the mother. We're the, uh, we're the king. We're the queen. We're the king. Where this is what he does. Six or more damage in a single turn, I can move an insect. Over. So I should hold onto a buff for a free value from that. If I can. If I somehow can. For the six damage. That's just not a card I need right now. Guys, this is an amazing card. If he's going to go buff heavy, it's an amazing card. Just saying. Infected, infected Wasp is how I beat that other one before. Throwing three of these. Insects are the way. Insects are the way. So he's got how many buffs in play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to deal 11 damage. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Uh, let's draw a card. Yeah. Oh, a Reckless Spirit? Uh, I could... I can't remove that. Uh, I can remove the cannon when it gets closer to the time. I can do that. But I'll almost want to, like, deal the damage. Like, the 11 plus damage. Oh, now we're at 12. Now we're at 12. And just Reckless Spirit something nuts. You know what I mean? Um, so I can still wait a turn. I can, I can wait a turn all day. All day. <sighs> Drawing an insect buff. We're gonna take... Actually, no, we're not. Um, but we're not necessarily healing. So we're fine. We don't need this. We don't need the mantics. Got two insects. That's awesome. I almost wanted to lay more buffs now so I can, uh... Oh, I should have done the, the... I should have done a shield wall. Okay. Wasp him for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for ten. Ten feels good. Um, I'm I mean, I'm still gonna take eight, right? I'm still gonna take eight, but he's gonna heal for two. Yeah, yeah, maybe I do this. Maybe that's fine. Wait, crack one egg. Why did he... The buff didn't return to his hand. I'll move the crack egg to your hand. A cracked egg? What is the... Uh... Oh, crack one egg. That's it. And now these are gone. He's going to take 10 damage. Oh! I forgot he has a turret. I forgot he has a turret. You are absolutely correct. You are a hundred percent correct. So I am actually going to be taking six damage next turn. All right, well, let's see how we don't die, huh? Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. And we're dead. Okay, I completely forgot about the turret. I completely forgot about the turret or I would have never done that 10 damage card. 
All right, I feel like the insects are the way to go, though. I feel like the insects, we're just going to modify it to have more of those wasps. Or the, uh, yeah, the infected wasps. I think. I think that's fine. All right, we got another. We're going to edit this a little bit. Oh, I have two infected wasps. I need three of them. Uh, I don't think I need a raider. I think I need another wasp. There's my insect. There we are. Wrangle for what is your trick to it? I have a second root singer too, so I can keep bringing that thing back. Great. Remove the 35 damage buff. Can you remove it? I didn't think you could. Six damage, or six buff removals is the trick. I didn't know you could. Otherwise, yeah, my, that would have been great. Everyone's saying Jolty with Crystal Core. I'm going to try Insects one more time. I'm going to try it one more time. We have two of the Insects forms. I think that's a good way to go. With how many buffs he had. I just need to really get those insects one for the infected wasps back. Does this say? Yeah, this, this can easily be removed. You are absolutely right. It doesn't say it can't be. That's the key. Power Horror and the Mountain Breaker. Okay. That's how you beat him with tech after. That's interesting, Wranglethor. I did not think that. I was like, but, I mean, you take six, right? You're just dealing damage to him. But it's like, yeah, but if this buff isn't out in play, there's no end in sight. See what I did there? See what I did there? Effective wasp, everybody. We have a game ender. Oh my word. So right now I'm gonna take six next turn and probably probably pop it the tunneler, is my guess. Ooh, we even have ambush, camouflage, and all that fun stuff. Okay. We're gonna plop in a tunneler next turn. Alright, 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 alright. Yep, tunneler's going. His last discarded card is a defend. Probably doesn't have a whole lot of defense, so ambush is just a dead card. That feels bad. Like, the deck I'm bringing is not constructively meant for this, is it? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is going to deal 13 damage to him. I think I'll start... S Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll, st I'll set this up. With just like a slow grind slow grind to bring him down to where he needs to be with Infected Wasp. Because he does have Enchanted Soils out to heal, so like the damage I'm dealing is almost minimal. There's my tome. Oh, rickety mine. Okay. Yeah, I get to put that in the play for free. Don't mind if I do. That's gonna give him all his actions. Oh dear. 
Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie. So if I bring him down, let's see, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can deal 18 damage to him. And then if he attacks by using one of those crack eggs, just win. Feels good. Feels really good. Let's see here. Let's see. So if he tries to crack an egg, he just... He'll take... S oh no, he'll go up to seven. He'll get one. No, Insect Swarm just kills him. Great, did it. Look at that. Insects are the way, guys. And I can even put in the Sipid Queen. I can even do that. Insects are the way. Oh, we can go wide on board. Having an infected wasp just finish him just feels good. Feels good. And we have Tyrannos. Now this one I heard was a puzzle one, which I am super excited for. It's like super excited for the puzzle one. Time for the egg hunt. Now the end is behind you. We can calm down with a peaceful egg hunt against a hungry monstrous enemy. The only way to win is to use our wits and a custom deck to collect all of the eggs before you get eaten. Good luck. Oh, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. No one tell me how they beat this. No one tell me the answer to this puzzle. I need to solve it with my wits. I need to solve it with my wits. I am already in love with my board state. Oh my word, is, what is happening? What is happening? First of all, z Mob looks ridiculous. What? Uh, if you have 15 or less health, take this egg. Otherwise, restart this buff. What's my ability? When a hero's deck is empty, they move five cards from the discard pile to their deck. I like that. I like that. Ignore enemy damage that would defeat you and set your health to 20 if, you're, if your target doesn't have a full egg basket. Oh, okay. Uh, ability to remove one of your element buffs to heal for four. Okay. Uh, this is if you have fewer cards in hand, take this egg, otherwise restart this buff. So I have to be at 15 or less health to get this egg. Then I have to have two or less cards in my hand to get this egg. Then target has to have ten or less health. Then I have to deal damage with a combo. Okay, and this is... Oh, just I've collected all the eggs. Okay, so I need 15 or less health. So I just like let him hit me for a while? I feel like that's what I do, I just let him hit me. I mean, I'm, my guess is it's pretty difficult. To play. It's not that difficult. I was say it's pretty difficult to get below 15 by turn three. But if he's just gonna go ham like that, yeah, I will let him do it. Um, I think laying a Z fling mob here is good. I need to get him to do some damage, right? And that's fine. I don't want to do damage prevention yet. Tree sprout for healing. Okay, he's got one turn. Oh, there's a leech. There's a leech. Never mind, I'm not gonna get this egg. Well, no, he could. No, because it's not at the start of the turn. <sighs> like, I want to lay tree sprout, but at the same time, I don't want to lay tree sprout. I'm just passing. Root singer, grappling roots, okay. Okay, so he's gonna heal for five. This is going to deal 5. It's still only going to put me at 17. I think I just pass. There's another mob I can lay. That's good. I can lay another mob. Mountain Breaker. Okay, that's not going to put me below. I need him to deal some damage to me. Like, now, now. Um, do I also just lay the Tusker here, too? Do I just try to apply some pressure? I gotta get him below 10. 
I also gotta start dumping my hands soon too. I just gotta, I gotta go. This is an interesting puzzle. It's like you have to do everything in a certain order, and it's great. I love this. Five damage to me. Okay. Well, it's not gonna get me this egg. I'm gonna drop way down too far below too. I might want to just lay a defender right now. Cause yeah, I don't get that egg. See, now, now is a time when laying the defender feels good. Feels really good. Uh, I could even lay the tree sprout, maybe, too? No, it helped me draw cards. I almost want to dump my hand. I think I'm fine with this. There's another spirit. Sure, that makes sense. But I'm at 15. Uh, I think one of my actions is going to be restarting this. This one doesn't concern me all that much right now. So I take six, I block two of it, so I take four, go down to eleven. It's twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. I'll collect this. I'll, I will collect this before I get the four healing. So this is fine. This is fine to lay. Math, guys, who would have thought? So I'll go to fourteen. That egg. Now I just gotta start dumping my hand, right? I gotta just dump it. Um, that was gonna draw me cards. I think. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, I think doing that is fine. Um. So next turn, I'll, I'll get the egg before I get the healing, which is good. It's good. It's what I want. Flame and Flame Infernal. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Collect that egg, then heal. Yes! Alright, I did it right. Did it right. So now I can lay this. I laid my animal card for the turn, didn't I? Son of a biscuit. Um, so, okay, I gotta time this right. So, if I lay two actions, next turn I'll have four. I can lay two of them. I'll be at two. I can then lay tree sprout and then reckless spirit something. And then I'll be at zero. So... Oh no, because Root Stringer will bring stuff back, won't it? I think Root Stringer is one of the one of the cards I gotta lay on the last turn. I think Root Singer and Oh no, because I can't with Rex Spirit. So many things, guys. Okay, okay, okay. This is so sad. Spirit. I'll be this thing. So now next turn I'll draw a card. So that, yeah, I can I can lay the card I draw and then reckless spirit. And then I'll have one card in hand with Root Singer. Okay. Math. Math. Okay, okay. So Are you for real? Never mind, I can no because I draw a card. I'm so upset right now. Can I just choose to only move one? Can I just choose to only move one? I only want one. I only want one. I only want one. Why'd you say wait? Mud Turtle, why are you not sitting right next to me and set on a five second delay? Why? Why are you over there? Oh my god, Mud Turtle, why?
I had it. I had it in my own hands. Oh, guys, I messed up. I messed up real bad. Yep, yep. My board is so wide right now, I could not even think of that. I have three. I gotta wait a whole. No I gotta wait a whole another series of turns. Oh man. I mean, I think it's fine to draw two now. Oh, why do I have all the animal cards? Why do I have all the animal cards now? I can't. I don't have animal supremacy. I don't have animal supremacy. Guys, I just I blew my shot. I blew my one shot at this. I'll draw another card. I don't need this. I don't need to draw cards. Yeah, now I don't want to kill him. Exactly. Um. I gotta do this. I'm not sure. But at least now, at least now I can, like, insect swarm like the spirit. And do that too. At least now I can make my own mistake. Okay. Man, that vine lash, or not, yeah, the vine lash, drawing a combo, that hurt, that hurt me in such a way. Um, so yeah, laying insect swarm. Oh man, if I, if I die too. If I just die. He's got one card in hand, so he can't really double elemental on me. But it could just be like a rock rager for all I know. Okay. Damage? Sure. So now, now I just heal. I just heal with Behemoth. I just heal. Because I need him to have less than 10 health, which he does. Um, I just... Why can't I move my board? What's going on? Why can't I move my board? I have Insect Swarm over here. Why can't I move my board? There we go. The Insect Swarm, I think, is honestly going to tick him down unless he lays two elementals and heals himself. That Insect Swarm is going to kill him before he can... Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just lay two elementals, please. Please. That insect swarm is now going to kill me. It's now going to be my own bane. I need him to lay two elementals right now. I need him to lay two elemental cards that don't kill me. Mind you, two elementals that don't kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, thank you! Thank you! Yes! Guys! You did it. Um. Yeah, healing. Healing sounds really good right now. It sounds really good. Um. So yeah, I'm. I'm fine. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now I have to find out how to deal damage with a combo. Um. So I think healing again is good. Healing again seems really good. Now, I, I don't have to kill him, right? Or do I have to kill him too? It just says win the game. Okay. So I have to essentially stay alive. But I gotta lay Vine Lash on the turn that this would be on its final corner. So I gotta wait like two turns before I can lay a lot fine lash and hope he doesn't just kill it. Never mind, I can also lay... Oh, that's not good. That's gonna be dispirited right away. I can also Sacred Aura next turn, after killing this thing. Yeah, it's, it's fine, I don't care. I don't care. I got him below the health. We did it. Oh, that was that was drama. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, we're good, we're good. We lay Sacred Aura next turn. 
hope he doesn't have a buff removal. Why would why would Mountain run Crystal Leeches, right? Why would it run Crystal Leeches? Thank God it does four. I just have to deal one. I just I just have to deal one. I'm gonna lay Vine Lance just in case though. Just in case. Just in case. Now I could just I, well I don't know if he died. I mean that has to be a Crystal Leech. That has to be a Crystal Leech. I had to go in here and say this. If you deal damage that would kill him, you won't deal damage or you won't get the egg. So Fresh, what you're saying is that I'm actually lucky I got him ahead of three, because otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't have dealt damage with him when he started his health. Oh. Oh, that's that's good insight to know. I just got lucky then, but that is really good insight to know, Fresh. Thank you for that. Once again, I would love to see an epilogue. Took you longer, Dells. I I could have. It took me a lot longer than it should have. That's for sure. I should have uh, not messed up that play. Didn't have to worry about it. Yeah, I mean, I Vine Lash is really like the, I laid it because I was like, I gotta make sure to steal damage. Didn't even consider it. Not killing him. Well, going back to bed. I'm gonna just go ahead and open this loot real quick. First of all, let's let's look at this. We got Eggy. We got that beautiful card back. I think I'm gonna use that every time now. That's a great card back. Happened you on stream earlier? Good to know. Thank you for taking one for the team fresher. Yeah, did you get a hatchling avatar? Okay. Alright, and now we have a booster pack. Let's go this booster pack. Quitu. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got this booster pack. Fresh and have a good one, man. Thanks for taking that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I do want gems. Um. Let's see what else we can get. Win five games against any opponent. That's fine. That's A OK -okay with me. Guys, that was a fun campaign. I really, I really do like that um, that puzzle one. I love those puzzle ones. Ever since the Valentine's Day one came out, I think the egg one, that last one, is probably my favorite. That one is so good. That is so amazing. See you guys. Time to watch some hockey. Mud Turtle, have a good one, man. Have a good one. Uh, I think, I think tonight I am gonna end an hour early. Uh, I do hate to say it, you know, I do want to stream for my four hours, but uh, Lurker is getting on in a half hour, so I was just going to host him in a half hour anyway, so technically I was going to get done early anyway. We we talked a lot about uh, the stuff, and it was a great discussion. I think we had an amazing uh, discussion. I'm going to post it to YouTube probably tonight. That's why I'm getting done early, so I can do this all posting tonight before I go to bed, so it's not like 11 o'clock by the time it goes up. Uh, I do hope you guys tune in to Lurker 300s. Um, he is going to be there discussing all of his points of views. I highly, highly, highly hope that you guys can tune in and watch him as well. Um, he's going to probably cover a lot more stuff that he did in his video, a lot more stuff that I didn't even say. So I do hope you guys listen to him. Uh, I hope we watch the reruns, hope stuff, post stuff to YouTube as well. Uh, he, he put out an amazing YouTube video, which only helped further our concerns and our discussion that we had today. Uh, starting with Testament, going with Lurker, and then up with me. So I do hope that everyone out there starts voicing their concerns. Like, like we've all been saying, do not do it in a negative way. Do not start bashing them. Do it in a constructive criticism way. Always put the why, as in, this is, like, say, I'm upset because of this. Why am I upset because of that? Because of such and such. Like, I am, like, when I, my, for example, I'm upset with the lack of communication. Why is that? Because I don't know any information that it's really driving us into a, um, an area where we're all assuming things. That's why I don't like the, the lack of communication. Be constructive with your criticism to, quote, the uh, Flight of the Concords. Be constructive with your criticism. Why? 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 Just do that. That's all I ask. Um, even when you're on Discord, if you're on the Facebook group, anywhere you have criticism, be constructive with it. Don't just say you don't like it. Don't just say, like, I have a concern with this. Explain to them how they can even fix it. Give them issues like, hey, I would appreciate it if you guys did this because I don't like it uh, when you guys do this. Stuff like that that helps them take notes and say, oh, okay, maybe we can uh, fix that. Maybe we can 
look on that and see if there's a solution we can f come to an agreement on and find. Um, we got Dells on one, and we got uh, Steve from Play Fusion in here too. They said they were taking notes. They're going to start working on stuff tomorrow. So I will be as open as I can tomorrow. I don't have a whole lot of Wi-Fi. My data is all used up. I got to get a new phone plan. I really do. I need unlimited data. It's it's killing me right now to be the social media person, and I have no Wi-Fi. It's oh, it's dragging me down. So I will be uh, as much as possible online to hear what the news is, figure out what they're doing, and listen to Play Fusion's discussions and responses to all this as well. That being said, I hope you guys have a good night. I'm going to start posting this to YouTube right away. I have a lot of people that were chatting with me on Discord and on Facebook and all this other stuff, so I have to correspond to them as well because I don't want to. I don't want to ghost them either. I don't want to ghost them. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. Thank you very much, Shibes, if you're still here, for all the gifts, for all the Tier 1 subs that you gifted. It was an amazing, amazing thing you did for them and for me. Um, I will remember not to wear the shirt in the future because it has green. Uh, I gotta go through my wardrobe and start sorting out which ones I can wear on stream or not. Uh, all the money, I'm hopefully gonna buy new lighting soon. Maybe by the end of this month, maybe early next month, I don't know. But I do need new lighting because I am very dark on the screen and I do think that will help a lot. So thank you guys once again. Thunderfin salute to all you guys out there. Uh, all you guys that came and talked and listened to me talk and watched me play this amazing egg uh, Easter campaign. And I'll see you guys later.